field position here if he can hit it. Jerian Butler is back deep. This is a bomb off the foot of Lacombe, sending Butler back inside the 10 as he makes the catch while going backward, but looking for a seam. Jerian Butler has blockers in front. Oh, a flag God. comes in as Butler takes <laughs> off. Two men to block in front of him. Butler is going to take it all the way inside the 15 before Lacombe finally runs him down, but a block and an injured Bison player back at the 24-yard line. It's Zach Colvin who is down inside the 25. Well, we had a booming punt, and sometimes when you kick it that far, you outkick your coverage. And that, that was a great move by the punt returner. Made one great move, took it outside and up, and was gone. But that was a booming kick, and it's going to get called back, though, I believe. So Colvin down back at the 24. Ref still sorting it out. There's no foul for an illegal block in the back. The block is from the side. First down, San Dakota State. Wow, wow that Big is play. a huge play. To Ryan Butler's punt return to the 11 counts. No, oh, that's a clean block. That's a clean block. It was Tom Pites. Hit him in the chest. Yeah, that's a clean block by number four. Good wave off by the officials. That's the right call. 80-yard punt return should have been a touchdown. Really, the punter is the only man for two members of the Jackrabbits to block. They didn't block him thinking the play was over.